Hi guys, it's Fatima here from Vintage Parlor Arts, just coming at you with a video this afternoon. And I'm kind of talking low because my husband and the dog are taking a nap. And this is a perfect time for me to make a video um, because the dog will be quiet and not bark <laughs> at passerbys. So... Um, I, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, <clears throat> so this is my larger cabinet of curiosities that I have redone. And I kind of wanted to give you guys a look inside and just kind of show you what I have done here. So here in the front, um, so I just kind of show you here. Um, it says old apothecary and folk remedies. And I kind of have it in this odd lettering style because there's a crack in this cabinet that I have tried to disguise here because I'm not going to pay to have all of this glass replaced, you know. And um, there is some cracks in this cabinet that I have tried to disguise in various different ways with these little stickers and lettering and so um so anyway anywho here's the cabinet i'll just kind of show you um it starts on one end and it goes all the way down this way all the way down there it's got three different shelves to it and we will go inside here and look and I guess I'll just kind of start in the middle here um, there's a tag for my shop vintage parlor arts on Etsy which doesn't have a lot of stuff in it right now because I am kind of in the process of restocking everything but <clears throat> This is what I have redone here recently. We'll just start here on the bottom shelf. Um, this is an old shutter here that I just have. It's up on some shelving. And under here I have hidden a lot of my apothecary stuff and oil, essential oils and all that kind of stuff. Kind of disguised because that can get cluttery and messy. So, and under here I just have like some old vintage photos back here hung up there's a rose from the rose bush out front and there's some taxidermy right there and then i just have some various different items there's some vintage prescriptions right there there's a little baby doll head there's some old coffin nails right there and here's just some crystals and artificial flowers and um, there's just some different items, dried flowers. Here's a thing from one of my dogs who passed away and some of his little fur here. I keep in the little file with some rose petals. Um, and I just really like this shutter here. I was like, how can I incorporate that into the decor? And it made a nice little shelf. I kind of like the look of it. And um, this little baby doll head is just a little collectible. I don't know, it's kind of creepy. I kind of like, I like creepy stuff. And along that line here is a keychain for the Bates Motel from the movie Psycho. Here's a little palmistry hand and a little widget board. And here's a little apothecary jar. It's got some sage in it. And here is a little tin back here. This little tin just has some black salt in it that I made um, for protection. Um, I made that um, black salt from basically from charcoal and just regular, uh, I guess, I think it was kosher salt and just you know, kind of crushed that together with the intention of using it for protection. Like, um, you know, for wherever you want, um, you know, you can use it on your door jam. 
uh, or your, not door jam, your um, stoop out front of your home or around the perimeter of your home or wherever, wherever you want to use it. But that's what this is. And I guess I'll just take you upward. I guess this will be the easiest way to do this. And then we'll go from side to side in the different doors. So as we move up here, the second shelf is uh, natural history and kind of taxidermy things. And there's more apothecary jars. And I just have some different stones. This is kyanite here, this blue stone. And I pick up different flowers from my neighborhood. I don't like to pick the flowers necessarily, if I can help it. I guess when they drop on the ground, I will pick them up and bring them in and dry them. And um, this is just different findings from nature um, up here. Feathers and crystals and stuff. And here is some uh, apothecary jars with dried rose petals and I forget what this one has in it I'll have to see oh uh, this has uh, this has cedar in it um, that's what's in that and here's some Himalayan salt and these have Florida water in them <clears throat> and then here's some more little apothecary jars with just various different herbs and them and stuff and I think one has maybe cedar cedar sticks chamomile what's in here oh that has incense in it just various different items you know uh, more flowers and such uh, more taxidermied butterflies dried flowers, collect little bees' nests, just anything I find out in nature, I will pick it up and bring it home, as you can see. <laughs> anything and everything. And then there's some frankincense resin, incense resin here. There's some sage back there. There's some pine cones. We'll go to the other side in a minute. And up here on the third shelf is where I have a bunch of my primitive stuff. And I have some um, dolls up there, primitive dolls. And there's a poster right there. It's like a circus poster. And then there's some more primitive dolls here. I just love those primitive dolls. And um, I'll show you the other primitive stuff. I have these washboards. On either side with these coat hangers uh, vintage coat hangers and little uh, bits of fabric and clothes pins and there's one on each side and I'll show you as we open those other cabinets and look side to side you'll be able to see more of the decor but the top shelf is all primitive stuff and then the second shelf is pretty much like natural history and apothecary and stuff that's what i have going on on the second shelf and then the third shelf is like kind of like like i said it's like i have my oils and things underneath there and then just different spiritual stuff spiritualist stuff um, which i can show you some things over here the old apothecary. Um, so here on this side, I just have some different books here that I like to read. Just different psychic protection, old style conjure, uh, shamanic books. Um, um, Zach Bagans, I Am Haunted. Sylvia Brown books, just all kinds of stuff. Books on clairvoyance, just all kinds of stuff. Here's one about um, backwoods shamanism. Um, I'm trying to remember if that's the one about hoodoo. Uh, yeah, this is the one about hoodoo and root work. I have one uh, somewhere. Oh, here's one. This is really cool. Uh, Appalachian folklore. Uh, 
here's a book about runes just all that kind of um, spiritualist kind of work and um, I guess I like all that kind of stuff I was born in Tennessee so all that kind of um, stuff kind of speaks to me um, my dad was kind of into all those old remedies and stuff when we were kids he used to use a lot of that stuff on us different uh, folk remedies and things he would uh, if we had an injury he would like <laughs> different different herbal things like he would take tobacco and like moisten it and put it on a, if we had like a bug bite or something he would take tobacco and use it or crush up aspirin and like literally spit at it and make a paste out of it and so I got I think I got some of the stuff from my my dad's side of the family some of my old school love of remedies and such and my apparently my one of my grandmothers on my dad's side red tea leaves and so I think I get some of that from her some of this kind of stuff from her anywho moving right along here is my taxidermy for my little ducklings these little guys and of course the feathers I know you guys are probably thinking Fatima is so weird but um <laughs> I, I told you in the last video they're all over my neighborhood because we live in Florida and you know I just I obsessively pick them up for some strange reason it's 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 not an obsession it's, it's a compulsion because it's a behavior so I obsessively pick them up and so there they are there's another bunch of them and so there's just some dried flowers there and there's more sage and palo santo and there's some um grounding mix that I made um, it's this here I just really love. I love aromatherapy, right? So I love to have these little bottles, and I literally, I, I, I sniff it. I, I know that might be weird to some people, but it's kind of like the same, the same premise of potpourri, right? Um, you can simmer potpourri on the stove and things like that, and I literally will just, um, open the bottle and just sniff it and kind of use it for a meditative purpose um you know or you can burn it like incense too on a charcoal disc same type of thing anyway here's some um the cedar and different things here more dried flowers um and then up here some more primitive stuff i have um these old encyclopedias and there's some washboards there and clothes hanger, vintage clothes hangers, oil lamp, an old McGuffey's reader on this side. And 